<laughs> wow. That was like a spike. It was so hard. Get it for Instagram. <laughs> I see myself primarily as a child advocate, and so I, I think, unfortunately, children are the last acceptably oppressed group in the world that we live in, so I give them free choice. And so um, Annabelle, who's the seven-year-old, has decided to go to school, and Karina, who's the five-year-old, has decided that she'd rather not go to Did school. Did you get an email, Karina? No. Can you send uh, mommy an email? Funny yeah. one? <laughs> Wait, are you sending a silly one? <laughs> <laughs> it's not things that I do with her, it's whatever she decides to do, she does. And the truth is that she can create a much more rigorous curriculum for herself than I could ever create for her. We understand what the curriculum is, but she just decides to do things uh, that she's passionate about. So every day is different. She'll do a lot of crafts, she'll you know, play music, she'll go onto a computer, she'll watch television, she does a lot of writing, she loves to write. Um, and so uh, she has a lot of play dates, uh, she has children over all the time, every day in fact. I think that if I were to impose things on her, if I were to say to her, no, you, you know, every day at nine o'clock you're gonna be doing numbers, and then at 10 o'clock you're gonna be doing letters. Um, it, it, to me, it's such an artificial, meaningless way to do things. Can I just play this one instead? Sure, whichever one you want, Annabelle. I think she is the only person who knows what her potential is, what her interests are, what she feels like doing in the moment. And nobody external from her could ever do this. So the only person who can make that decision is, you know, she's the only one who can make it for herself, to trust herself, and we have to be willing to trust her as well. <laughs> you know, we have young friends who aren't too interested in, in literacy and numeracy, but are really, really talented when it comes to art. And unfortunately, schools value literacy and numeracy more than they do art. And so you can see that that interest is not being channeled or not being um, supported in the way that it probably should be supported. This is her super spider. <laughs> and it's a happy super spider, as you can see, because the spider has like a, a happy face. You know, schools aren't something that I prefer that I didn't of them attend, but if that's what she decides to do uh, as a loving parent, I would definitely support it. Oh, I can't wait till I find it and then I'll show you. I think my girls do feel that they're very lucky to be in a home where they can make these decisions for themselves. Uh, unschooling is not the same as unparenting. Unschooling is about love, it's about compassion, it's about trust, and um, it's about respect. And so uh, if you can build this in your parenting, then issues really don't come up. <laughs> I like that one too. It has a lot of colors. <laughs>